In this tutorial, we're going to build two additional report together with the first report that we already completed in part one. The report that we're going to build are the product report and the store report. Let us deploy the channel so we can see um, how it generate the report for us all three report at one time one two and three let me open this report to show you what the data look like employee report these are the header we have business identity uh, login etc etc we have total of 290 records. Okay. Close that. Product report. These are the header. Product ID, product name, color, product number, etc. etc. And just go on. And in this report, we have approximately about 500. Uh, row 504 to be correct in the last report the store report we have only three column business entity name and sale person ID this is just a small report okay now let's let's us go back to uh, um, SQL server database and management tool employee table right there 290 row product table 504 row sell i'm sorry store table 47 record okay so Let's get started. We're gonna start in a new channel uh, from scratch. Let me go ahead and archive this report so we don't get confused when the new one generated. Okay, move this to one window. And we're gonna start a new channel in here. Okay, so to test A is the first part. We're gonna part. We're gonna start part two. Test. I'm sorry. Test two A. Now we're gonna start with test two B. Okay. Right click. New channel. Test two B. First thing first. Let's just change the data type. In here, we put XML, outbound is raw, and outbound destination is also raw. Click OK when you finish. We go to sort, under connected type, click JavaScript, time scheduling, make sure you put yes, pull, on, pull once on start. And we're gonna put in the report name, employee report, product report, and store report. Now we're going to build three separate transformer. Add a step, type, click the narrow down to JavaScript. For the first report, put in employee report. I'll go ahead and copy paste all the transcript, not all the transcript, all the JavaScript that we already uh, had it from our previous build channel. 
So this one is for employee report. Okay, these are the the header. Uh, this is this is the query, and right here is how you uh, <coughs> parsing the result set coming back from the database, and this is how you name the report. Okay, continue to add a new report. So what you do is you click add new step. Okay, also do the same thing. Drop down JavaScript. I think this time we're gonna do product report. For the product report, let me just copy and paste that. This is almost identical. Everything is the same. All you have to do is change the query that we're gonna pull from the SQL Server, this query, okay? So all you need to do is replace the query and replace the, the header and replace the report name. Everything else stay the same, okay? Same thing with the last report. Add a new report. To JavaScript, and this is the last report. Store report. Let me copy and paste it over here. Like I mentioned, everything is the same. All you need to do is change the query. This is in this report. We only have three column so it's very sh short and straightforward business entity id name and salesperson id and the store report name okay before you we go back to the sort we have to validate the transformer every single transformer make sure it's correct that's good and the last one is also good okay now let's just go back here we already have employee report store report product report are ready to go now let's just go back to the destination in the destination choose the connector type file writer and put in your output directory and put in the map output file name make sure you have the little curly bracket open and close curly bracket and in the front make sure you put um, the dollar sign otherwise it will not generate the report for you as i uh, experienced this issue in part one and i already show you that okay so make sure you have this incorrect um, q message just click always override template we're going to put in encoded data okay let's save it and we are ready to deploy are you ready deploy one two three report you see that all right so let's just open up and you know just double check to see if everything is correct these are the report is looking good 290 row product report look good as well go down to this is a 504 record I forgot how many record in here so product right this is 400 504 record that's good so close this go to the last report store report Fifty record, okay. Business entity name, business entity ID name, self person ID. Verify that in the database. Query that again. Fifty record, okay. So let's let's talk about this report real quick. Let's say you have a uh, 
um, a manager request for this report, all three report, and they are going to want it in an automation. For now, we set the time for this report deliver at you know whatever time here 11:56 a.m. Okay. Let's say if the client one okay, I want to request employee report at eight o'clock um, daily. I want to request um, the product report weekly on a Monday, and I want the store report generated for me uh, monthly on the first of each month. Okay, so how are we gonna do that? In the next video, we're going to implement the third channel just to handle the time scheduling. Okay, but for right now, all three reports are working accordingly and the time it will generate is 11.56 a.m. All three at one time. And I will show you how to manipulate the time schedule in the next video part three. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, um, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.